Fall as a vet, um, when you go into a regular season, how do you kind of understand or how do you deal with knowing that at some point you're going to be going through a slump or like whether that's a week or a month? Like how do you as a vet kind of go into trying to deal with that reality? Um, I mean, it's, it just comes down to, you know, it's part of the game. Uh, I deal with slumps. I just know, you know, it's, it's, there's other stuff I do to win other stuff I do to, to, to help my team out. If I don't shoot the ball well, I don't shoot the ball well. Um, it's, it's just part of the game, but um, there's just so much other stuff that I do that I can help my team out um, that I don't really, you know, concern myself with. Yeah, and it's not you specifically, it's just kind of a general rule of thumb, I guess, for every NBA vet, but um, I guess probably specifically, you guys have been really adamant about staying aggressive. Even the guy, like for instance, Russell Westbrook's not shooting particularly well, but you want him to stay aggressive. Um, at what point does it kind of become like, okay, maybe I need to go back to the drawing board in terms of maybe kind of coming and combating this in a different way, or is it just continue just to do what you know how to do? Yeah, you just continue to do what you've been doing. Um, in Russ's case, he's been getting the shots he want, um, the shots we want him to take. Um, you know, they're going to fall. It just comes down to him getting in rhythm, him getting into his flow, um, and getting comfortable. Um, that's just really what it comes down to. Um, he's, you know, been a guy that's that can explode offensively. So um, there's really no concern there. Um, you know, we know he's gonna come through. And that's trust me, the least that we're worried about. Instead of getting off a of plane and playing right away, you've had a couple of nights now at home. How does that factor into your night's game? How's it helping you? Uh, it feels good. It feels good. I mean, we're, we're kind of been, um, you know, home-based um, where we can get back on time here, um, get used to being in front of our crowd. So we, we should, you know, do a lot better than what we did the previous game. Playing them already and having them win here, how does that Going to tonight's game, we're a little more motivated, a little more energized, oh, especially for sure. after your last game. Yeah, for sure. We definitely got to do some things better that we didn't do the, the first time um, they came here. Uh, we definitely uh, we owed them. Uh, they came in here, they were better for getting the on our floor, but um, tonight it'll definitely be different. What's it going to take for you guys to get really consistent defensive rebounding? Because when you have defense or have grabbed defensive boards, it's opened up a lot for you guys. I think uh, we just, you know, just making that a key um, as much as possible. I think that's that's the biggest thing. Teams are going to try to, you know, crash boards. Um, it's 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 if they can get those rebounds, it keeps us out of transition. Um, so I think that's the emphasis on teams is to crash and, and try to get those rebounds and, and force us to play longer into the shot clock um, because they know how you know quick we can play in transition. And, and, how fast and how much we want to get in transition. Um, that it almost seems like that's that's what teams are, are trying to do against us. Uh, it seems like a lot of the breakdowns happen in rotation. I mean, how, how do you clean that up? Because that's a you know a funky in the moment we just, thing. Yeah, we just got to rotate. Um, just we can't die on plays. Um, that's really what it comes down to. There's going to be breakdowns. There's going to be rotations. Uh, we just have to make them, um, and we can't rely on the other team missing a shot or. You know, luck to go in our way. We got to force teams to turn it over, force teams to miss shots, uh, and just play throughout the whole shot clock. You guys, kind of as a team, have an like you did the other night. Is there any extra excitement or look forward to, to like the, the next game just to get that kind of? Yeah, system? yeah, for sure, for sure. You look forward to getting back on the, on the court, uh, especially when you notice, you know, as that game was, we just wasn't ourselves. Um, you're excited. We're excited. I'm excited to get back out there. And get us back rolling again. Get us back on the winning, winning side. Um, we're playing too good to let one game just, you know, kind of throw us out of whack. So uh, we're looking forward to it. How are you feeling physically? How's your knee? I feel good. I feel alright. Um, been icing it down. Doing a little treatment on it. So um, I should be good for tonight.